Do you know what amphibian means? And can a human and amphibian fall in love? Join us on our latest Cinephile episode to find out. And be sure to visit our Funday website for more. Hello everyone, I'm Peggy, your cinephile host. The Shape of Water is a 2017 American romantic fantasy film. It stars Sally Hawkins and the lead role. Set in 1962, Baltimore, Maryland. The film follows Eliza, a mute cleaner at a high-security government laboratory who falls in love with a captured humanoid amphibian creature and decides to help him escape from death at the hands of an evil colonel. Eliza Aposito, who was found abandoned as an infant with wounds on her neck by the side of a river, is mute and communicates through sign language. By 1962, during the Cold War, Eliza works as a cleaner at a secret government laboratory and lives a very routine life. Her only friends are her closeted next-door neighbor Giles, a middle-aged struggling advertising illustrator, and her co-worker Zelda. Colonel Richard Strickland has just captured a mysterious creature from a South American river and has taken the creature to the Baltimore facility for further study. Get them out. Seeking to exploit the amphibian man for a U.S. advantage in the space race, General Frank Hoyt is eventually persuaded by Strickland to vivisect it. Dr. Robert Hofstadler, a scientist who is secretly a Russian spy named Dmitry Mosenkov, pleads unsuccessfully to keep the amphibian man alive for further study. When Elisa overhears the Americans' plans for the amphibian man, she persuades Giles to help her liberate him. When he looks at me, the way he looks at me, he does not know what I lack or how I am incomplete. He sees me for what I am as I am. Giles initially refuses to help, but upon realizing that Eliza is his only true friend, he changes his mind. Hofstadler is ordered by his Soviet handlers to euthanize the creature so as not to allow the Americans to study him. Hofstadler stumbles upon Eliza's plot in progress and chooses to assist her. When Giles gets to the facility, he is made and the guard forces him out of the vehicle. Initially reluctant, Zelda also becomes involved. What are you waiting for? We're out of time. Get out now. You have to go. Hurry. Oh, woman, we gonna burn in hell. Come on, push. Push! I swear, I'm not doing this on purpose. Mechanical objects and I just don't get along. <laughs> Waiting for you at the dock. Go, okay, go they successfully make their escape. Once they arrive at Elisa's apartment, they quickly follow Hofstadler's instructions to keep the amphibian man alive. Elisa plans to release him into a nearby canal when heavy rain will allow access to the ocean. In the meantime, she keeps him in a bathtub and Giles keeps him company while sketching. Have you always been alone? Uh, 
Did you ever have someone? Do you know what happened to you? Do you? Because I don't. I don't know what happened to me. I, I don't know. I look in the mirror and the only thing that I recognize are these eyes. And this old man's face. Have you ever found a wounded animal and nursed it back to help before realizing it? Kind of feels like what Eliza and Giles are doing for the amphibian man, don't you think? Well, back at the lab, Strickland interrogates Eliza and Zelda, among others, but he learns nothing. At the apartment, Giles discovers the amphibian man devouring one of his cats. Startled, the amphibian man slashes Giles' arm and rushes out of the apartment. Hey, dummy. Phone call for you. It's urgent. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Believe me, I'm fine. He ate Pandora. It wasn't his fault. He's a wild creature. We can't ask him to be anything else. Eliza, go find him. Go. 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 <laughs> You're lucky. He gets as far as the cinema downstairs before Elisa finds him and returns him to her apartment. The creature touches Giles on his balding head and wounded arm. The next morning, Giles discovers his hair has begun growing back and the wounds on his arm have healed, while Elisa continues to develop her romantic relationship with the amphibian man. General Hoyd unexpectedly arrives and tells Strickland he has 36 hours to recover the creature or his career and life will be over. You've known me how long, sir? Thirteen years. Battle of Poussin. Yes, sir. A man is faithful, loyal, efficient all his life, all of it. And he is useful. And he expects... He has certain expectations in return. And then he fails once. Only once. What does that make him? Does that make him a failure? As the planned release date approaches, the amphibian man's health begins to deteriorate. Meanwhile, Hofstadler is told he will be extracted in two days. When he goes to meet his handlers, Strickland follows him. At the rendezvous, Hofstadler is shot by one of his handlers, but Strickland in turn shoots and kills both handlers. Having realized that he is a spy, Strickland tortures the dying Hofstadler into revealing the people who broke out the amphibian man. To his surprise, he learns that Eliza and Zelda are implicated. Strickland threatens Zelda at home, unsuccessfully until her husband Brewster reveals that Eliza has the amphibian man. Zelda then immediately calls to warn Eliza. Damn you, Brewster. You would understand. Couldn't understand that if you tried your whole life. Hello? Giles, is that you? Yes. Okay, put Eliza on the phone. Zelda. Eliza, honey. Make a sound on the phone if you can hear. Okay, good. He's coming for you. You gotta go now and you gotta take that thing with you. What? Eliza? An enraged Strickland ransacks Eliza's empty apartment until he finds a calendar note revealing where she plans to release the amphibian man. At the canal, Eliza and Giles are bidding farewell to the creature when Strickland arrives, knocks Giles down, and shoots both the amphibian man and Eliza. After a moment, the amphibian man heals himself and slashes Strickland's throat, killing him. As the police arrive on the scene with Zelda, the amphibian man takes Eliza and jumps into the canal where he heals her. When he applies his healing ability underwater to the scars on Eliza's neck, they open to reveal gills like his. She jolts back to life and the two embrace with Giles concluding with an old poem about their love. The only thing that comes to mind is a poem whispered by someone in love hundreds of years ago unable to perceive the shape of you. I find you all around me. Your presence fills my eyes with your love. It humbles my heart, for you are everywhere.
The Shape of Water was acclaimed by critics, who lauded its acting, screenplay, direction, visuals, production design, cinematography, and musical score. The American Film Institute selected it as one of the top 10 films of 2017. What did you think about the amphibious human love affair? 接下来我们来介绍今天电影迷谁的情深 The Shape of Water 要学什么 Throughout the movie, the nameless creature was referred to as the amphibian man or humanoid amphibian. So why is he described this way? Well, first off, a humanoid is a non-human entity with human form or characteristics. The earliest recorded use of the term in 1870 referred to indigenous people in areas colonized by Europeans. By the 20th century, the term came to describe fossils which were morphologically similar but not identical to those of the human skeleton. Second, he is referred as the amphibian man because he has amphibious qualities likened to frogs, toads, salamanders, and newts that are small vertebrates that need water or a moist environment to survive. All can breathe and absorb water through their very thin skin, much like the amphibian men. Hope you have learned something useful in this episode of Cinephile. You can find more on the Funday website. Let's make every day a fun day. You should have just mailed the art. No, I want to show it to you and the team in person. I think it's some of my best work. And as green as can be. It's, uh, it's not a good time. Maybe later. Oh, well, sure. No problem.